So welcome everybody. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia today. Going to share with you uh, some functions that you can add on to your wheel loader if you have the same one, or, or some of the functions to your wheel loader if you decide to do uh, with the lights and things like that. So uh, this is a standard machine. What we've done is we've got rid of the original radio, got a Gropner MC32, and we have improvised on the functions for what comes from the factory. Now, if you have generally a good quality radio, you should be able to do the same. So, first of all, uh, let's start with um, uh, the gearbox. So, generally, the machine comes with only two gears, and it's really hard to move the machine. It's sitting on your table. So, what we have done is we have assigned a three-way switch to the gearbox. That gives us three positions instead of two, and now you have a neutral position. Makes it pretty handy if you had to move this machine on your table because you can see if it's in gear, um, at the amount of weight and the traction, it's very, very hard to actually move this um, thing around. Um, you have to actually play with this gear so that, you know, to engage it is a certain point and the servo has to be in the right position like you just saw just now there. But once you actually adjust it and fine tune it, it's definitely a great thing to have. Uh, the next thing what we've done is um, we've used a light switch so that we can independently control all the lights and the beacons. So, uh, and we have assigned this particular switch, but you, you can do it with any three position switch. So here goes um, the beacons, the beacon goes off. And then comes back on again, put it off, okay? And then what we have done is um, the lights are, are, are now connected to this three-way switch. So you go all the way up, you get one, one function, and you go bottom and all the way up, and you get the second light function. Um, the engine sound is connected to this three-position switch. You need a three-position switch for all of these functions. So make sure you're getting a radio that actually has three position switches on them. If not, you won't be able to control these functions. So um, here's the one for the sound. You push it down, it keeps cranking. You go back to the center, it stops. Now you leave it down and come back to the center. And that's a crank. You go the other way, it's a horn. So I'll put it off again so you can hear me. Um, now, with the hydraulics, we have done two things. Uh, we've gone constant, so we've got a dial knob up here. And when you hit this dial knob, depending upon the RPM, you can increase the RPM, you're going to get pressure as required. So you can actually crank this. Now, the also cool function is you can actually see, I'll bring it closer, you can actually see the pump... Um, how much you're dialing in and what pressure you're getting so you can actually memorize this thing so next time when you're having a play you exactly know what your settings were there you go so um, that's um, constant pressure on the pump and then the second thing we have done is we've assigned another switch up here and what that does is it gives you on demand so I've switched that function on so now you will see It's on demand. You, if you only want to do a demo and you're showing this to your friends and family or, or somebody and you don't want the hydraulics to run constantly, you can go on demand. So the moment you release the joystick, you can talk to the person and explain to him and then as you want it, it comes back on. So you have that for all, all the functions um, on the machine. And then Finally, we've got one more thing that we have done is we have gone proportional sound for all the functions. So start the engine. So the, it's, it's on the engine, proportional engine sound and the hydraulics is on demand at the same time. Or I can just increase the hydraulics to constant
and get the get the sound uh, on constant hydraulics so this is what we have done this can be replicated on most machines uh, it's nothing super duper or complicated um, so as usual, if you have any questions or if you want to buy the beacons or the brackets, you can send us an email. It's on our website. Uh, flick us an email if you have any questions and we'll see how we can help you. As usual, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. It's Kevin from CSMI in Australia.